Hi everyone. Today let's talk about the three specifications for the PoE. The PoE, the PoE, the PoE plus, and the PoE plus plus. So what is PoE? PoE is the technology which is, stands for power over ethernet. With one ethernet cable, the power and data will transmit through it and power up our IP devices on the other side. So it's really convenient although it can only transmit for 100 meters due to the IEA 02.3 protocol and this protocol usually has three common standards one is the PoE and then it's PoE plus and it's PoE plus plus each three have different power outputs so uh, PoE has about 13 watts at the, remind, uh, at the other end so 13 watts is enough to power something like a wireless access, access point uh, some phones and with PoE Plus, we have improved and now we can transmit and give us a reminder at 26 watts around that. That is enough for like an IP camera, a VOIP phone, wireless access points, this and that. And again, the advancement of technology, we have went go to PoE Plus Plus. And now this technology can transmit up to 51 watts and even 72 watts sometimes. This is because there are four twisted pairs of copper wire inside. PoE and PoE Plus only uses two of them. When it goes to PoE Plus, sometimes we use all four pairs, which keeps us at full capacity transmission. And then we have more power and more data. And mostly these are used in, let's say, flat screen devices, um, guide, guiding kiosks, post machines. So because and also because we use all four twisted pairs we will receive more data this makes our bandwidth up to a thousand megabits per second now let's see an application with our PoE so I'm gonna assume we're in this situation we have a router and we want to set up some IP devices far outside of our house what should we do well first of all since we're going to do multiple devices, I'm going to use a 95 watts high power PoE injector. PoE injector injects the power to our Ethernet cable because our router is a regular switch device that doesn't have PoE features, so it cannot provide us power. So when the data comes through this Ethernet cable to the injector, the injector injects power to it, and then the PoE signal will transmit over out of this port to our PoE power switch. This PoE power switch, really nice. It's an outdoor PoE power switch. You can see the metal out case. It protects it from water and dust, making it impenetrable, which will keep it safe outside. And you can see a power switch will t use port number eight and receive power and data. In this case, they will use a little power to power itself and then spread the rest of the power to IP devices connected to port one and seven. So one and seven is for outgoing PoE signals to IP devices, and port number eight is for receiving PoE from our main network. And it's really easy to connect. And the beauty of this is first I can stay outdoor, so and the metal casing helps it to release heat, waterproof. And second of all, we don't need an extra power source, even though it gives us the option, but you know, outside in our yard or garden, we don't have any power outlets near this, so we can just use the PoE. That's why we need 95 watts high power injector as well. And then simply connect our wireless access point, our IP camera to it, ta-da, and then this whole PoE system will be set up. Demonstrate you guys. So this is our main network. Connect, connect, and also power our PoE injector. Connect it to our alternating current. Then it receives all the power and injects it on this. This is a long Ethernet cable. Going to represent a long distance from our main network. Then it goes to port number eight on our PoE power switch. And then two devices to our PoE power switch as well. And usually we'd go through these knobs, but it, it's going to take a lot of work because it's waterproof measurements. It's not easy for us to just simply do it. We have to screw it really tight so the water doesn't sneak in. So now, it's kind of hard, okay. Everything's done. You guys can take a look at the indicators. They're all blinking, all on means there's power going through. 
can see the wireless access point. The wireless access point also has indicators on. And right here, you can also see that there's an indicator on saying there's power going through, data going through. All right, this is pretty much it for this video. If you guys have any more questions, you can leave them at the section below. I'll take a look at them. And thank you guys for watching today. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.